welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Um, if you haven't subscribed, click that button and don't forget to hit them likes buttons if you like the video. Um, well, I finished up the little seven and one half Johnson and now I got to get back to work on other people's stuff. So I've got a little engine here. The fella that brought it in to me said that he thinks it's got wiring issues and has no spark. We'll check that out and see if he's right. So, what is it? Let's start. There's the little victim. It's a little Suzuki short shaft 15. Uh, that has been. It is owned by a cuffer, a commercial fisherman. So it's had a little bit of a rough life. To say the least. Hi, it's me, Billy Wright. What are you trying to say? Are you saying us commercial fishermen don't take proper care of our outboard motors? Well, I, I never. I want to fix you and fix you right. All right, so I got my fuel line hooked up. If you can see, fuel squirting all out of the uh, sediment bowl. So I'm gonna try and tighten it. Shit. Made it worse. Tidy last time I checked. Is that ain't the case on this guy? Unless it's stripped or something. Yeah. They do make a little nut on the bottom, but I think this one's got issues. I think something be broke dead. Well, maybe not. Still leaking. Get maybe gone. Good enough. Good enough. Let me rinse the gas off my hands. <whistles> Just put her in the tank. Engage his custom choke. Man, his throttle is even froze. I'm gonna see if it'll start anyway. Force it, man. Can't operate this choke. Can't get a throttle. Woo well, it does run. Now that throttle's completely seized up, feels like. It's, it's not a K. Uh, no, yeah, well, it kind of sort of is. Maybe I can just work it and get it going. Waking it, waking it! I doubt it, but I'm gonna try. Around through there. 
done these before. Where are you at? And then this one comes around up over into there. So maybe if I can gently work it. Gently. It's just a big bunch of corrosion under here that's hitting the side. But it still ain't going far enough. Well, this thing's cocking up on me. shifter. Okay, I can go fast in gear. piece of nylon down a little bit. See now, I, I clip the uh, the little clip right here. There's a little clip right here. When it's hooked, I can't maneuver the throttle. When I unhook it, so the mag plates froze. So I'm gonna have to try and see if I can wiggle that free, get it unsalted. Um, go from there. I guess I'll put you back over here. I'm sorry. Alright. So, oh. let me see if I can just get any movement. I'm afraid to break that off. It's plastic, of course. Maybe I can get these vice grips on it. Get some movement. And I can't. Alright, get some penetrate. Well taken care of, engine, eh? Hold every damn thing down. Oh. 
well taken care of. All right, all I did, hopefully you can see it, I put the vice grips on this fat piece of aluminum here, wiggle it back and forth. Now she seems to be pretty loose. You'll see. This thing has two kill switches on it. Now nothing's moving. Hell. One cable don't look like it's moving in. Oh, what's going on under here now? Oh, it popped out and it broke that little plastic cog. I don't know if it broke it, it's just eating away. What kind of a nightmare is it going to be to get that? This little plastic drum under here is eating away. And there's so much yuck on it, I can't really see what's holding that on. But hopefully, it's just a little clip or something. is broken all the way. I might have another one of those. I don't think there's no real cure for it other than replacing it. But I don't really see what's holding it on. It's probably a roll pin right there or something. I don't see a uh, E clip, but it's pretty tight in there too, though. Well, first I gotta go see if I got one. I'll be back. Okay, so what the problem is, is this little wheel down here is broke from corrosion and stuff. Well, in order to get that to come out, I guess, I gotta get this handle off. Hopefully you're in there. I got to get the handle off. And of course, this was a Phillips screw and it's all seized in. So what I did was took my die grinder and I ground a deep slit in there. So I took this dot and I made a big slit. Then I got a screwdriver like this Put it with some via scripts, and then I can turn it out of there. It's loose enough now, I can probably just get it with a big screwdriver. So that gets me part of the way there, I think, but not all the way there. Okay, I got the plastic one off and I put a brass one on here off a donor motor. And you can see these little checkering there, whatever you want to call it. This just compression fits. On the other one it had a roll pin, on this one it was just compression fit. And uh, so I heated up the brass and then just tapped this down in there and then let it cool and then squinched it and it's, it's on there. So now I got to work this back up through there and then get these cables back on. I also had to unbolt the linkage off the side here uh, so that I could feed the cables through enough to, to work with them. So hopefully this is going to work. And I got the cables back in there. And I drilled a little hole and put a little rope in there. Even though it had the little checkering there. 
So they're right now. Then I had to take all this linkage off here so that I could pull the cables through to hook them up there. Then pull them back through there and then I had to adjust with these top and bottom down here 10 millimeter nuts to get the slack out. And now she, if you look here. So, and I ain't doing another thing to this salty abused thing. Because that's what it is. There's this choke. <sighs> what you are looking at there is Suzuki outboard destruction and abuse at its fullest. Oh boy. When the guy comes to get it and I take his money, I'm going to be insistent that this one never come around again. It just makes me sad to see a motor treated like that. I'll be right back. Okay. So after I finished up the Suzuki, one of my subs says, hey man, I need a head off of 1978. Johnson. Well, there's a head off a 1978 Johnson. So, there's a head. I don't know what else I'm going to take off this thing. I'll see if I could find. Carburetor is probably still good. I'm gonna flip it over, I think. Get some gloves on. Ain't gonna bother taking that propeller off because it ain't. Well, you can see it. It ain't worth a toot. So I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a model number. 35RL78R with a serial number of E4886936. And so that puts it at a 78 Johnson. And he needed a 78 Johnson head. So there's a 78 Johnson head. And. I'll probably pop the lower unit. I'll take this one transom clamp in piece. Keep that. I'll pop the carb. That carb looks bad. Don't you think it? It'll clean right up. Um, I've already took the coils and the power pack and stuff off. And the tiller handle's already snapping it off. Still a lot of good parts. What are you doing monkeying around my parts pile? My parts wagon? Quit that. Get away from there. All right. So 
I got the little Suzuki 15 where it runs, shifts, throttles. Outboard abuse. In the highest level. Um, so sad too because pretty Sunday morning after church, whatever, you ain't got nothing to do. The sun's shining, the birds are chirping. Take your little outboard, put it on a picnic bench, on a stand wherever, some oil, elbow grease, sh 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 solvents, cleaners, sh 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 two hours, change lower unit oil, lube everything up, no, no we're not going to do that, we'll just run it and it'll, it pukes and completely falls apart. Sad. Those are good little motors, those little 15 Suzuki's. But uh, he had to wire and all which away, that away, this away, every way, that away. On these Suzuki's, there's only four wires that matter. There's the, well, five. There's the ground to the power pack, grounds to the block, where the power pack bolts to the block. There's a green and a black wire. They go to the two wires that are coming out from under the flywheel, where the trigger and all is, and they're green and black. Green to green, black to black, that's all there is to it, and you should have fire. As long as your kill switches, and I did say switches. On this Suzuki, there's only two. There's one at the end of the handle that's a push button, and then there's these man overboard switches that have a goofy system that ne never works good on them once they get war. They get a little wear in them and they quit working, you lose spark. So um, just hook up the one that's in the end of the tiller handle. Do away with the other one completely. If you really want a man overboard switch, buy you a good aftermarket Sea Dog, put it in there, and then get rid of the one that's in the end of the kit, um, tiller handle. Now, on some Suzuki's, so there's four more additional wires with those two kill switches. On some of these smaller, even the, I find on the older ones, they have an, an electronic, um, an electric short out circuit for the gear shift instead of a mechanical one. This one has a mechanical one, so you can't pull the recoil if it's in gear. Um, on the older blue style Suzuki's, the first generations here in the States, um, it was electric. So if it was in gear, it pushed down on a switch that grounded everything. So there was two more wires. So a total of six wires that went just to interlock safety and stop switches. On this one, there, there's, there's four wires in, a, in addition to the actual circuit for firing the plugs. The circuit for firing the plugs, black to black, green to green. Flywheel to pack. That's all there is to it. So. Um, yeah, so straightened his wires out, got spark, went to give it gas, nothing, everything all froze up, magneto froze up, this froze up, that froze up, just salt water and abuse. So got it all squared away, she's a runner now, and uh, I can return it to the owner where it will, I'm sure, be in the best of care and taken care of like the wonderful little motor it is not so that's going to be a wrap on this and i could do a whole lot more on this but nope it runs it shifts it pees he's on his way to get it thanks for watching more vids are coming on inside outboards with cody bass